other way we can take a backup is through SQL Server Management Studio. First of all, we need to stop the symmetry services. This ensures that data isn't being written to the databases when we try to back them up. Once the services are stopped, we can then go to SQL Server Management Studio and we will see our list of databases on the left. First of all, we want to back up the Multimax database. So we will right click, we will go to Tasks and then Back Up. By default, it will go to its default backup location. We are going to remove this one and add our own location. I'm going to use the backups folder that I used earlier, and then we need to give the backup a name. So we include the name of the database, which is Multimax, and then we will give it a date as well so that we know when the backup was taken. We then add the .bak file extension. We can then click OK and OK again, and this will then create a backup. We then do exactly the same for the Multimax TXN. So we right click on the database, we go to Tasks and Backup. We remove the default location and we add our own. So it will be Multimax TXN date and then remember to add the file extension and click OK. OK, and that completed successfully as well. If we have a look in the folder, we should have two new files. We've got our Multimax and our Multimax TXN that we have just created. Thank you.